Hello again to our Vuvuzela viewers. Today on the Vuvuzela, we're going to be chatting to Karen, who's from Gone Viral Copper. Very interesting how this little business came about and how important its space is um, during these times of lockdown and um, just where we're sitting in the world at the moment. Welcome to the Vuvuzela. Thank you very much. So tell us, how did this journey all start? I mean, you historically have been involved in tourism prior to this new business, am I correct? Correct. So it actually sprung from what we thought was a bad thing. Luckily, it didn't turn out to be too bad. Um, my husband went into hospital for a routine operation um, and came out with Klebsiella pneumonia, which is one of those hospital superbugs and um, it was obviously terrible that that happened he went into icu for three weeks um, on some of the worst antibiotics you can think of and um, it was touch and go that he would make it and this was just before shutdown um, and we had the whole COVID things beginning and i started researching i thought this you know it's it's terrible that somebody would go into hospital where you think they're safe and come out with such a life-threatening uh, disease. So I started researching and I always say to people, when you start this journey and you start looking at copper and superbugs and COVID, you go down the rabbit hole because it was out there in the world. It's scientifically proven that if hospitals had copper in them, um, the infection rates would come down by between 50 and 70 percent and um, the, the disease that my husband had actually dies on a copper surface within 10 minutes. Goodness me. So once I started researching I was I started saying well why isn't everybody using this and why don't we know about it and then I, I was about to give up it wasn't really um, I hadn't really decided to move forward with it and I was watching CNN funny enough and uh, they interviewed a guy who owns office space around the world and he just mentioned as a matter of course that they had changed all the fittings in their offices to copper as if it was a routine thing that we should all know that copper is is a healthy option and he calls them wellness offices and I think that was my sign that I had to continue with this journey and introduce it to everybody. And what is your product range and most importantly, how has it benefited your hubby especially and how can it benefit others? So we don't, we don't try and advocate that this is a replacement for a mask or, you know, put a copper pot on your head. <laughs> it's, it's really... Um, it's, it's an added protection. It's like if you wore a mask and if you use hand sanitizer, it doesn't mean you're not going to catch a bug, but it's certainly an added uh, prevention and a protection layer, if you want to call it that. So copper kills is a surface contact killer. So you need to have it in areas where you have a high touch rate. And then something that we discovered in our research, which is even more exciting, is that copper has what they call a halo effect. So when you have uncoated copper, it can't be your pretty shiny copper that you buy in a shop. Uh, it must be copper that can tarnish because that shows it's actually doing its job. It's ionizing. Um, when you have pure copper and it is on a small surface, for example, on the back of your phone, it has a halo effect that continues to kill those bugs in a 50 centimeter radius. So you can have a small piece of copper on the back of your phone and your whole phone is actually being constantly sanitized by the ionization of that copper on the back of your phone. My word, I'm totally blown away by this and I'm sure our viewers out there are, are also blown away that copper could be of huge benefits to to all of us. Um, Absolutely. 
And how's Happy doing? And, and what did you do to him? Did you just tie copper around him, or what did you do with Happy? <laughs> No, well, uh, you know, I only really got into this after he came out. Luckily, he, he managed to um, to make it in hospital. Um, but we're keeping him hopefully safe because he now is immunocompromised. Um, and yeah, he has, I have copper on his key ring. I have copper, <laughs> I even have copper on his hat. <laughs> but um, yeah, we, we definitely are, are, we call ourselves the, the copper kings and queens at the moment. Um, but yeah, so. And tell me, what does your product range include? You've chatted about um, the copper piece on the back of the phones. What other products do you have? So we have um, a little thing called a fidget digit. I don't know, let me see if you can see it here. Oh yes. But that is a pure, it's gorgeous. It's a pure copper rod. Um, and it has a little stylus on the end. So you can take it, it hangs on your keys, you can put it around your neck on a chain, you can put it on your bag, wherever. Um, and when you get to the shops, you can use it. You can use it at the ATMs or the uh, credit card machine. And then the big thing is, and this is what I tell everyone, is you need to now ionize your hands. So you just roll it. In your hands. Wow, something so practical and multi uses, absolutely. And then we have um, another product that I'm very excited about. Um, we obviously have the one you put on the back of your phone, which is a popper. Um, and then we have, we've created these self adhesive copper strips. So they're still made from pure copper and they're not coated but they are so convenient because you can stick them anywhere. They are super thin, so they're not gonna, they don't, not gonna be heavy and they're not gonna hurt you um, if you rub them. And you know what, I mean, the reality, these are things that people can carry around with them the whole time. Okay, so here you can see it's just stuck on the front of my wallet. Mm. And when I use my credit card, I can just rub it afterwards. Wow. But that's pure copper and you can see it's thin, it's light. It's really like having a piece of, of paper that you can stick to something. And we sell those um, in packs of different sizes. So the kids can put them on their school water bottles, which is important um, because they all carry water bottles now. Or you can put it on your coffee cup, whatever. And um, so on your laptop, um, you can put it, you can even put this one on the back of your phone. So they're great, they're fantastic. Wow, Karen, I'm, I'm just yeah, in, in, in awe that, that, that copper can help in these incredible ways. So um, obviously you've got an online store and we'll be sharing those details um, with our viewers on the Vovazela. And any new products that you are working on that maybe are coming a bit down the line, some exciting news? So um, also during this research, and I think you must um, recommend to everyone watching this don't take my word for it go online and research copper and you'll see but while we were doing that we also found um a beautiful copper film it's it looks like like plastic um but you can see the copper in it and it's developed in korea and they've developed it so that the coppers can this copper in it can still ionize so it works and it has the same a disinfecting power as pure copper but it's a clear film and what we're doing with that is we are developing it into beautiful things like mouse pads and hand pads for people to put their hands on in nail salons um, it can go on to lift elevator buttons it can go on to handrails it can go on to push plates in offices and we can cut it to size um, so yeah, that's exciting and the nice thing also about things like our mouse pads is that Kim, my partner, um, is the branding guru so we can put people's logos on it and they can be corporate gifts uh, so we can spread this, this whole healing thing and still let people benefit from it as, as an advertising tool. As Karen has seen, go do the research yourself to see the huge value that copper does have and um, yeah, let's hope it can help more people. Kim and I are both passionate about doing good. Um, this is not just about us making money. Mm -hmm. So we, 
we know that there are a lot of people out there who are battling financially right now. Um, and we are definitely working a way into this whole thing for not only having our online shop, but having agents out there who can sell it for us and make an income off it. And then we are tied to two causes that are dear to us at the moment. Uh, we both live in a big five game reserve and in that reserve we have an anti-poaching team that is under really high pressure at the moment. Um, and then outside on the borders of our park we have a, a township which has a, an old age home in it that it's really, really needs some help at the moment. And we are hoping to raise funds to build them a garden to grow their own food. So we've tied every online sale, we'll donate five rand to those projects. Karen, thank you so much for joining us on the Vovazela and to you and Kim all the very best on this incredible journey. Thank you very much.